I'm giving you guys the top five loadouts in Warzone 2, and I wanted to go a little more in depth. So, these top five loadouts are actually just as good as they are without attachments as they are with attachments. That's because some of you guys don't have all the guns leveled up, and I wanted to make sure you guys are actually able to use them even if you don't have all the attachments. So, we're going to start out with the Fennec 45. The Fennec 45 is insane and has virtually no recoil with an insane TTK. So just to give you guys a reference to show you guys how fast this thing actually melts. And this thing has no recoil as it is. So I'm giving you guys the ZLR 16.5 ignition barrel. I tuned it so that I didn't change the damage range, but I did max out the recoil steadiness. That way this thing is amazing. It has insane damage range, bullet velocity, hip fire accuracy, and recoil control. And the benefit to this as well is some people use the Forge Attack Ninja or the Fennec Covert Force. This actually gives so much smoke when you use the silencer. So I was like, let's not use a silencer and let's just use this. So then I use the VLK Laser 7MW. This helps with the aim down sight speed, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed. The only downside is the laser is visible in ADS. Now, if you don't want this to be an issue, you can take this off or you can just put on the 1MW quick fire laser if you have this and you can just get the benefit of the aim down sight speed, but you have to level up the Lockwood to level four. Pretty easy. Now, the Agile Assault 7 stock. This helps with the sprint speed, aim down sight speed, crouch movement speed, and aim down sight speed. Uh, I'm sorry, I said aim down sight speed, but aim walking speed. And I tuned it to max out aiming out of stability, and I didn't max out the aim down sight speed because I didn't want the aim walking steadiness to deteriorate, but I did raise it significantly. So the aim down sight speed weight is negative 2.06 ounces. That's personally for me. I like that a whole lot. And then put on the Fennec rubber grip. I didn't change anything much with the width, but I did increase the weight slightly, 0.42 ounces for the recoil steadiness, and that creates the gun that we have right now. I mean, I put on the Fennec 45 round mag, but that doesn't really change anything. It decreases the movement, aimed on size, speed, reload quickness, sprint to fire, but in regards to any benefits, it just gives you more bullets. Also, just a note real quick, like I said, I'm gonna show you guys all these weapons with no attachments, just to show you guys how amazing they are even without them. So next we're moving on to the Lockman 556. This, AR has no recoil. It's probably the best no recoil weapon you can use in Warzone 2. So, we put on the Harbinger D20 and we maxed out the bullet velocity and recoil smoothness. Put on the 15.9 Lockman Wrap and I maxed out the damage range and recoil steadiness. Put on the FTAC Ripper 56 for aiming out stability and recoil stabilization. Now, I've been reading a whole lot and I've actually been realizing that this may not be the best. So, overall, the best might actually be the Brune Warrior Grip for the recoil steadiness, just because I don't feel like this is really gonna do too much for it, but I did put on the 5.56 five, high velocity, maxed out the bullet velocity and damage range, and then the 40 round mag overall. I mean, I didn't feel like I needed the 60 round mag, but if you do wanna use that, just know you're gonna be significantly slower. Now, just show you guys how deadly this weapon is. Look at this, zero recoil. Even at long range, this thing has no recoil. That's why I love this gun, and anybody can use it and actually do really well with it. Next, we're moving on to the Lockman sub, and this thing is amazing too. I put on the AVR, T90 comp for the muzzle and just because of the smoke issue with the silencers I'm not a big fan of it and I think it makes it harder visually so I put this on it helps with the horizontal and vertical recoil control and I put on the FTAC M sub 12 and just show you guys the tuning I maxed out the gun kick control and recoil stabilization for that tech M sub I maxed out the damage range and recoil steadiness uh, LM stockless mod so you actually get the best movement overall the 40 round mag and the phase 3 grip now, I maxed out the aiming out of stability and recoil stabilization. Just show you guys, your movement is still fantastic, even with something so uh, damning to the movement, which is the phase three grip. And you get the benefit of the phase three grip with no recoil. The TAC 56. Now, this thing is so incredible, and I actually have two versions to show you. One is without an optic, and the other is with an optic. So, we have the Harbinger D20. Uh, max out the bullet velocity, recoil smoothness, then the 17.5 Tundra Pro Barrel, max out the damage range of recoil steadiness. I put on the FSS Combat Grip, and I didn't tune it. Put on 60 round mags and 5.56 high velocity. Now, I max out the bullet velocity and damage range. And just to show you guys how insane this is, check this out. No recoil, and you can absolutely do damage. If you don't want that, if you want to take that off, I would probably recommend taking off high velocity and not combat grip. You can take off high velocity, you can put on the optic, and we're gonna go with the 4.0 optic. And just to show you guys, it's still amazing. Boom, boom, boom. 
So whichever one you want to go with, I honestly use this one more than I do the iron sight, but I know a lot of people like iron sight. So whichever one you want to use, completely up to you. Cast off 762. Now this gun is so amazing and a lot of people are actually sleeping on it still to this day. Like I'm a big fan of it. I don't have it gold yet, but I have the Custovia DX90. I maxed out the bullet velocity and recoil smoothness and then the cast 10. 584 millimeter barrel maxed out the damage range and recoil steadiness put on the vlk 4.0 uh, optic the demo x2 grip maxed out the aiming out of stability and recoil steadiness and last but not least i put on the 40 round mag just to show you guys how amazing this is this does so much damage and the recoil is pretty easy to control so and last but not least the cast off 74u this thing is a hybrid this is an ar smg hybrid and this is the only reason i want you to use this i don't want you to use this as a long range ar i want you to use this as a mid-range ar short range smg it's so amazing put on the harbinger d20 to max out bullet velocity and recoil smoothness put on the slater peck box 4 put on the Etrezat stock uh, maxed out aim walking speed and aim down sight speed put on the demo x2 grip max, maxed out sprint to fire speed and recoil steadiness and 45 round mag now just show you guys absolutely amazing for short to mid range but the only downside is it's probably going to be a little bit harder to see that long range you can get the long range kill but this is mainly for the short range fights like i said long range is a little dicey but with this build, I think you'll love it overall. Now, just to show you guys that every single gun in this video is amazing, even without attachments, we're gonna start with the Lockman. So just to show you guys how amazing all these guns are, even without attachments, no recoil, still melts, still so good. Going to the tack. The cast off 762. The cast off 74U. And last button. And last but not least, the Lockman sub. So, like I said, you can use all these guns even if you don't have them leveled up and you'll do amazing. Also, if you made it this far, I'm gonna give you guys a little aim assist tip. This is obviously for controller players. So if you see this, just comment thanks because this is something that not many people know about. So if you go to controller, one thing that you really should do is you should set it to black ops or aim assist type, but that isn't the only thing. Make sure these things are off right here. You don't wanna have them on. Make sure this is dynamic, and then these are the big things. Make sure ADS Sense Multiplier Focus is set to 0.80, and then I'm pretty sure that's all you need for the Advanced tab, but then make sure the ADS Sense to be Multiplier here is set to 0.80 as well. Now, this will give you extra aim assist. It'll be extra sticky, and you'll absolutely do much better.